Peaceside Institute for Group and Short-Term Psychotherapy is an international research and training center for new approaches to human development and community building. Our philosophy is very influenced by um, the work, the writings of Lev Vygotsky, as well as other people. We take learning and development, uh, emotional development, social development, moral development, to be number one f social activities and number two, to be really the basis for a new psychology, a psychology of becoming, a psychology of who people are becoming. We begin um, from this not very well referenced phrase of Vygotsky's when he's talking about play, children's play and why play is developmental. He says that in play, children perform a head taller than they are. The Developing Teachers Fellowship Program has um, 11 teachers in it. They are from preschool through high school. And they are all creative teachers. We basically teach them about our conception and understanding of learning as a performance. And also, we teach them improvisation skills. So the teachers, in teaching their young people improv games as both a way of learning and a way of building social skills and social responsibility are finding that they actually can be much more advanced in teaching the content. I am a Vygotskyan. I believe that uh, children need to be pushed to go beyond themselves. Um, and that's what we establish while we play. And that develops that environment where, where everybody can participate uh, and push each other to improve in various ways. Initially, when we started playing, there was a level of frustration involved uh, because the children aren't as good at the games. It's in. I'll do it again. Uh, and they become better over time. When we started playing the games, a boy, for example, would drop the ball and they would yell at him right away. Uh, now we've established a lot of tolerance and we've become more focused so we don't drop the ball as often. I use the games during transitional periods um, when children are losing focus, which often happens during testing and uh, preparation for tests. You can bring them back easily with a game and then you can go through more of that work and then play some more and it, it just helps to uh, create the environment where children can continuously learn. Zip, zap, I mean zip. What we're finding with this program is that for the 300 or 400 children that are impacted on by the dozen teachers that we're training, if the only thing that was happening is that they are having a much better school experience, even only with those teachers, it would be well worth it. But we're finding that it's having much more significance, that children are capable of far more than they're allowed to do in structured environments where it's totally individualistic. Another program, um, actually another organization, uh, that has advanced our performatory social therapeutic approach is the All-Stars Project. Um, it's a performing arts and educational center. The All-Stars has four youth programs uh, that are performance-based. So young people, especially young inner city kids, poor youth, one of the only places they're allowed to be creative and to create new performances is on the stage. The slogan of the All-Stars, as well as the Institute, is if you can perform on the stage, you can perform in life. You may now kiss the bride. Get this one to Brooklyn. Pump up the volume. When I talk about a group-oriented approach that's Vygotskyan, I'm talking about the creating of zones of proximal development. Most Vygotskyans, and then the trickling down into textbooks for either developmental psychologists, youth workers, or educators, talks about the zone of proximal development as 
a dyadic relationship between an expert and a novice. Um, that is obviously a reading of Vygotsky. It's not our reading of Vygotsky. Our reading of Vygotsky is that zones of proximal development are, number one, not places and not spaces, but they are activities. Or, if you will, to go back to the performance metaphor, they're stages. The creating of stages for growth, the creating of stages for learning. So, in a, ther in a therapy and in social therapy, Vygotsky helped us to understand how this strange and radical therapy actually worked because it is the activity of the group members to create the group where they can get help. That is the help. The unity of creating the group and the, quote, result of creating the group are one. The zone of proximal development looks a certain way in a social therapy group and it looks a different way in a classroom of um, second graders uh, or on the stage in the development school for youth or in some corporate office down on Wall Street. However, the methodology is similar, which is that groups are what develop and when people participate in creating groups for their need, for their learning need, for their development need, doesn't matter. When they do that, all the individuals in that group learn. How do you give that group its voice without stifling any of the individual voices? And I understand, in a sense, the zone of proximal development to be the way that happens. People being supported to continuously create new overlapping zones of proximal development where the input of all is used to create something new. Everybody, everybody get up.